book was sent to me first by the ICA, Intercultural Association of uh, Greater Victoria, which is an organization uh, that cares for uh, refugees and immigrants to Canada. And I read the book first as a text without any artwork. But uh, later on, uh, I received the draft, the first draft of the book with the artwork. And at that moment, I realized <clears throat> that this is a unique book because with the artwork, we have uh, the writing and the pictures um, making a kind of very expressive and beautiful harmony. And I asked Orca to uh, give me time to revise my translation in the light of the uh, pictures and the artwork. The first thing uh, which I had to change was the title of my translation of the title of the book. In English it is Stepping Stones. And my first translation into Arabic was um, the threshold of departure, because I took the literal meaning of the uh, uh, title. But looking at the pictures, I realized that the stones in this book are really the medium of uh, communication, and they should be mentioned in the title. So I changed my, my translation of the title into Hasat Ruqat, that is, the stones of the roads. Uh, by this I tried to capture the double meaning of the title, which is the stones as a kind of hurdle and the stones as a promise of uh, progress in the journey. And also I tried to keep the fact that this is a book made of stones. It's a work of art based not only on the art of Ali Bedr, it's based also on the experience of the Syrians, of the refugees, of the moment. And the good thing about uh, Rohr's text is that she doesn't emphasize the political aspect of this drama. She is going uh, on the other direction, which is the humanitarian aspect. It's a message to the kids of the world to think of the refugees, regardless of the stories and the scripts of the politicians and the clerics and all kinds of authorities. I always think nowadays about a line of poetry by W.B. Yeats in his great poem, uh, uh, Easter 1916. He says, too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. And I'm thinking that in this book the situation is reversed because Ali Bader and uh, Margaret Roars are reversing this and saying that too long a sacrifice can turn a stone into a heart because this book has the stones uh, throbbing just like human hearts with this agony and ordeal of the refugees. I, I am really very pleased and proud to be part of this experience 